Hey everyone, it is Father Mark, the second last day of the year, January 30th, on which is day the church is celebrating the feast of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. And today, Bishop Sheen in his wisdom on the second last thought of wisdom talks about how the bishop must be holier than a hermit. And he is most probably quoting a desert, uh, one of the church fathers in this. Um, I don't quite know which one, but you hear this all the time because as St. Martin of Tours testified to, the bishop has a lot harder job. I think Gregory the Great also was a monk that got uh, thrown into the papacy and said it's much harder to stay holy when there are so many distractions of the world around you. When every time you turn around, there is a temptation, whereas in the desert, yes, there are temptations. And believe me, if you read the Desert Fathers, they were tempted in a great way and in great measure. But uh, Bishop Sheen is reminding us that in our world, the bishop, the priest, the mother, the father, the son, the daughter, whoever it may be, is surrounded by all of this temptation. And so our focus needs to be more intently uh, looking towards and discovering the goodness in our world around us, in the people around us, and how do we serve them and how do we care for them in a in a greater way. And so today, uh, let us pray for our bishops. Um, they have a tough job. I'm glad I'm not a bishop. <laughs> I'm glad I'm just a lowly pastor in a lowly parish. But I also know that in my failings and faults too, I have to be aware of that. That the call for holiness is a constant road. It is not a one-day event. It is not a one-time conversion. But it is a continually seeking of the blessing, the goodness, the grace of God that flows down upon you and upon me. So let us today pray for our bishops. Pray for all families on this Feast of the Holy Family. Pray in thanksgiving for our own family, for my mom, my dad, for your moms, your dads, grandparents, all those who have brought us to the faith. God bless you all, and we will see you tomorrow, New Year's Eve, for the last little bit of wisdom of Fulton Sheen. God bless. Have a great day.